This is one of 10 electric buses the NFTA now has. They started receiving them back in April of 2022, and the last one came in at the end of the year. But more are on the way. 14 electric buses are expected by the end of 2023, and an additional 13 will arrive in 2024. It's all part of New York State's initiative to go green. The state has given the NFTA funding for the electric buses, mandating the entire fleet be electric by 2035. Retired NFTA equipment engineer Jeffrey Sweet says each bus costs about $1 million, and the charging equipment is about $300,000. All of the electric buses are charged in the Cold Spring bus garage with overhead chargers. What's being installed here is sized to charge 50 buses. Each bus is supposed to last at least 15 years, about 700,000 miles, similar to a diesel bus. Only half of the first order of buses are out on the roads right now, being tested over eight-hour periods. We're writing down what's working, what's not. Sweet says the NFTA doesn't yet know when the electric buses will start picking up passengers. Right now, they're taking the time needed in rolling out the first order of electric buses. I keep referring to it as crawl, walk, run to continue training mechanics and drivers. It's a much smoother ride. It's um, not as much noise, not fumes. They're also being tested in cold weather. Over the weekend in single digit temperatures, Sweet says the buses ran smoothly. Still, they all have a backup safety heater that runs on diesel to ensure passenger safety. We all know all the not so good things that happened in the last snowstorm. Well, the reason we put a backup safety heater on the bus is so that if the bus is stranded in a cold weather event, we can keep our passengers warm and safe until the situation is resolved. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.